Hey guys, Dandy from Music Marketing TV, and today I'm gonna furthermore get into the piano roll effects in FL Studio 10. Uh, they also have it in 9, but uh, I'm using FL version 10. So, for us power users, the easiest way to use an arpeggiator is to go into the channel settings and mess around with it there. So, by that, I would click my synthesizer, go into the channel settings, go into the function tab and then here we are with the arpeggiator section and here we can just fool around with a whole bunch of settings to get the right arpeggiation right um, so we can just fool around with a whole bunch of stuff here range if you want it to go into the second octave uh, you can also repeat it in several different ways you can also choose what kind of chord structure you're looking for, whether it be minor, major, augmented, diminished. Uh, there's a whole bunch here that you can choose from. But this is only a quick thing. Um, this affects the whole thing. You can't really get too um, specific with uh, your arpeggiation using this function. So if you want to have more control, this is how we're going to do it. Let's go to the piano roll, go into this little wrench tool button here, and then go to arpeggiation, arpeggiate and by default it gives you this tri chord tri note kind of arpeggiation happening right and here we have a whole bunch of things you have a whole bunch of options you can flip it going from top to bottom you can altern alternate it so that it goes from top to bottom bottom to top and so forth you can also change the uh, speed by using the time mul uh, multiplicator right here also affecting um, the note length so if you want to make it shortened you can using this knob or extend it as uh, far as it can go you also have another um, section here the level section and you're not, probably not going to use this but if you do need to affect the pan volume uh, modulation X or yeah your mod X and Y's and uh, your pitch you can do so there but I probably wouldn't be using that often. Um, also the range here, so if you want to go to the second octave up. Right, it's uh, really straightforward and uh, pretty easy to use. There's two good things about this, okay? Let me reset this, close this up. Now, we have four chords here, but let's say I don't want my arpeggiation to loop in, uh, you know, that basic pattern, but I want to create different kinds of arpeggiations between each chord. Alright, so to do that, um, I have a quick, there's a quick key here, there's Alt-A to bring up the arpeggiator, and uh, you can see here, it only affects the first chord, and let's say for this one, yeah, let's keep it normal, the second one, uh, let's make it flipped, so it goes top to bottom, bottom to top, top to bottom, and uh, let's say that's what I want for the first bit, and then the next one, I want to alternate it and keep it faster or make it faster there we go so this is what I want and the last one is just all the notes hit kind of odd kind of unorthodox but um, I mean it gives gives you the capability of doing a lot more than just a basic arpeggiator uh, the second great thing about this is that we can insert our own patterns or presets that FL Studio provides. Check this out. One note, two notes, three notes, four notes, five notes, dala, dala. <laughs> Some riff machine um, style kind of uh, patterns here. Now these are amazing. Check this out. Now that's a little too fast. You can also listen to the uh, pattern just by clicking on them. Alright, so let's say that's what I want. Um, let me just show you some practical use of this. I would just insert uh, a drum loop and then, uh, you know, just for something quick, or you can create your own drum kit, whatever the case may be. Uh, I'm just going to put a drum loop and use this arpeggiation. So 
So you get the idea um, how fast you can create some sort of, uh, I guess, song right away just by using this uh, arpeggi arpeggiation feature on the piano roll. So that's about it for the arpeggiation tool. If you have any questions, please hit me up on facebook.com slash dandrama. You can also check out more videos on youtube.com slash musicmarketingtv as well as other products that we have. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. See ya.